Hello and welcome to the Warehouse Management Configuration course. In this course, we'll review each and every configuration point in the Warehouse Management module. I'm going to link the configurations with real business cases so it would make sense and it would be more clear for you. I'll start from scratch in a new legal entity so you can build up the module from scratch by yourself. In this course, we'll have six lessons that will cover the prerequisites and the core configurations of the Warehouse Management module. So this course will be more about the configuration part. Then I'll release another course for the warehouse management process where we can process the typical warehouse management flows and what we implemented in this course. Lesson one will be an introduction about the warehouse management module on Dynamics 365 supply chain management. We're gonna discuss in this session the differences between the inventory management and the warehouse management. Then the integration points between the warehouse management module and the other Dynamics 365 SCM modules. Then we'll have an overview about the commonly used process in the warehouse. Then we'll discuss the terms and the building blocks that are commonly used in the warehouse management module. Then lesson two will be a detailed configuration session about the warehouse layout. So we're going to review the standard layout design in the warehouses and how to configure the warehouse layout components like the location types, zone and zone groups, location formats, location profiles, then how to define the locations and specify the fixed locations and the stocking limits in the warehouse management module. Then in lesson three, we'll discuss how to configure the advanced warehouse management items. So we'll review the new configuration objects that will be added when the use advanced warehouse management process is enabled like the inventory status, license plates, reservation hierarchy, and unit sequence groups. Then in lesson four, we'll review how to enable the advanced warehouse management process for the items and warehouses that have been initially created without the intention to use the advanced warehouse management process. After that, we'll review the core configurations of the warehouse management module in lesson five, like the consolidated shipments, wave templates, work templates, location directive, and load templates. Then, last but not least, we'll configure the warehouse management mobile application in Lesson 6.